Turner now to the Philadelphia 76ers as we are back. They'll be fighting their season by keeping them alive after that shaky loss to the Miami Heat in game number five. Jimmy Butler and his team got off to a fast-paced start by never looking back. Jimmy Butler dropped 23 points, but it wasn't the only challenge left for the Sixers. Joel Embiid is protecting his face mask. You see he went down there after taking a tough one again to the face in instant replay mode. Just cringing in a lot of pain right there. The Heat crushed the 76ers by 35 points. Here's what fans had to say after that devastating loss. That lady has some good, good, mad props for Joel Embiid. And so do I, of course. And game six is taking place tomorrow at 7 p.m. at the Wells Fargo Center. Of course, we'll provide the latest updates on the Sixers when we're not on television. Get live updates on CBSPhilly.com and CBS News Philly. Somebody here in Philadelphia is $3 million richer buying a scratch-off ticket. Chopper 3 gives you the latest on Snyder Avenue at a local Acme store. The game is called My $3 million. The player who won the top prize at that Acme will get $10,000 for selling that ticket, and the winner has one year from today to claim a prize. Whoever you are, congratulations. So please, Treat somebody like the way you be treated. And new here on this Wednesday, Fun PHL Arts held a rally outside City Hall in Philadelphia asking for funding to help musicians, artists, and speakers. That's a good worthy cause if the price is right for some people. All that took place at 15th Street and John Fitzgerald Kennedy Boulevard, right near Market. That's pretty amazing right there. A new study finds most dog owners aren't spotting signs of depression in their four-legged friends. According to a British group, they found that 75% of dogs show signs by having some anxiety problems. But 36% of owners recognize those signals in many pets. But to be honest though, sometimes it can be triggered. That's what that is. But experts say there are certain signs you might look out for. Good to kind of their little faces if they're kind of lip licking a lot, if they're yawning a lot, that's kind of a sign of immediate stress. Wow. And doctors do say dogs do get bored, but it's crucial to some health issues. And today at Love Park, Eyewitness News will be there from 4 to 6 p.m. for laughter yoga, summer love yoga, and meditation. We have a link on the page at cbsphilly.com slash mental reset. You can scan it with your phone as well. That's pretty amazing right there too. And still ahead here this noon, getting a first-hand look at the Philadelphia Zoo's newest and biggest members. We'll tell you where those massive animals came from and how you can pick out their names. Hey, I already picked out three names chosen at random. They are Inky, Blinky, and Clyde from the 1980 video game series Pac-Man, which I still play to this very day. We're coming right back, y'all. Larissa's forecast is coming up next.